So before going to the patient, make sure to assemble first all the needed equipment in the assessment such as the pen light, the gloves, and the drapes. Make sure also that you wash your hands properly using the proper hand washing technique to ensure that there is no transmission of microorganisms. Then, provide some privacy to the patient by closing the windows or curtains. After it, introduce yourself to the patient, explain the procedure, as well as seek for the patient's consent. Hi, Pastor. Ako pa si Carmela, um, student nurse po ng Giko University, and andito po ako ngayon para i-assess po yung janitaya nyo. So, yung, bali po, yung magiging resulta po nitong assessment po ay magsisilbi po ang um, gabay po para sa aming mga nurse at doktor para sakali po may makita tayong abnormalities or kakaiba ngayon sa assessment na to. Uh, may pagpag uh, po tayo, babasehan ng mga data po. So, huwag po kayong mag-alala kasi um, kung ano man po makukuha natin dito ngayon na mga data sa assessment na to ay mga natili pong confidential. Also, um, igagabay naman po kita all throughout the assessment kaya hindi, hindi nyo po kailangan mag-worry. Ang kailangan nyo lang po ay sundin nyo po yung lahat ng instruction na ibibigay ko po sa inyo. So, okay lang po ba yun sa inyo, sir? Okay. Also, don't forget to ask the patient to have some chaperone since the one that is being assessed is their private part to avoid any malice. Then, ask for the previous health history of the patient or any allergic or genetic conditions relating to the genitalia. So, pwede po ba ako, sir, magtanong? Okay, so, meron po ba kayo, sir, mga sakit na um, previous sakit or mga genetic conditions na naramdaman sa inyong ari? Okay. Okay, so, how about po, sir, mga sakit? May um, pain po ba kayo naramdaman dyan? If ever, pag umiihit kayo, ganun. Or may mga sexual activity? Wala. Okay. How about po, sir, mga discharge? Meron po ba kayo napapansin na discharge dyan? Okay, wala din. Okay, sir. So, anything po, sir? Meron po po ba kayong sasabihin? May kinalaman po doon. Okay. Then, before starting the procedure, make sure to wear clean gloves to protect yourself as well as the patient for any um, microorganism or for the transmission of any microorganism since the genital uh, contains a lot of microorganisms in there to prevent any disease or infections. So after it, prepare the client for the procedure. Let him change into a hospital gown or let him remove his clothes into the lower extremities while putting a brief so that the only part that is going to be assessed is the only part that is exposed. Okay. And also, position when examining the patient should be standing or sitting. So since my patient couldn't stand alone, since... It's only a teddy bear. Let's just assume that he, let's just assume that he is standing. So the patient should be standing and put a drape around the patient's waist, making sure that the opening, making sure that the opening is at the middle. that it's easier to manipulate and see the patients. Okay. Making sure that both the ends of the drape is at the center of the patient. Okay. Okay. So the patient should be like this one. So since my patient is just a teddy bear and he couldn't stand alone or sit alone, I made a sculpture of the patient's genitalia. Okay, so here is a closer look of the sculpture that I made. So the first thing that we'll inspect is the external genitalia of the patient and inspect for any redness or swelling if there are presence of lesions or masses. So inspect. 
if there are any masses or swelling on the patient's genitalia okay so next is to inspect the pubic hair of the patient the pubic hair of the patient should be located on um above the penis which is distributed in a triangular manner and spread out up until the abdomen of the patient next is the penile shaft and the glands of the penis inspect for any lesions if there are presence of nodules swellings or um, inflammations so, so inspect it again see if there are presence of any any masses okay so the glands penis is intact it should appear slightly wrinkled which varies in color compared to the body of the skin or also the foreskin of the patient should be easily retractable from the glands of the penis so, like this one and then next is we inspect for the urethral mitus for any swelling or discharge we inspect for any swelling and any discharge in the urethral mitus of the patient so the urethral mitus of the patient should be positioned at the tip of the penis and it is also pink and slit like in appearance also it should be in the midline at the tip of the penis so after it retract the foreskin of the patient to expose the glands penis for any abnormalities so let's just assume that i retracted it okay then inspect for any abnormalities on the foreskin of the patient if there are any um, discharges as well okay so far it's normal after it inspect for the ventral and the dorsal part or shaft of the penis and inspect for any abnormalities as well inspect for any abnormalities on the um, ventral and the dorsal surfaces of the penis okay so um there are no tenderness and swellings also there are no lesions and redness found on the patient's um ventral and dorsal so we go now in inspecting the the contours of scrotum of the patient so let's just assume that it's um loose and wrinkled also the surface should be coarse and the size and the size also varies depending on the person. Now we go now into the inspection of the hernia of the patient. And let's just assume that the patient is sitting. So we inspect for the hernia of the patient by putting the hands on the scrotum of the patient. Okay. Okay. After it, inspect for the inguinal and femoral areas of the patient while letting the patient cough to be able to detect and see it visibly while maintaining the sitting down position. Okay, so can you cough, sir? Okay. <laughs> okay, inspect for the hernia. Okay. Okay, so then after it, palpate the external inguinal ring of the patient through the scrotal skin. So palpate. Okay, so the hernia is normal as well as the location and size of both the testes. Also, the um, testes are asymmetrical where in the left testis is lower than the right testis. Okay, so put the grape again on the patient and, and discard the drop so that it wouldn't transmit any microorganisms from the patient also put it on the right waste materials so okay po sir tapos na po tayo sa examination natin and so far po normal naman po lahat ng resulta ng examination and ito po sir tissue in case po kailangan nyo po and andun, na, andun po sir yung CR namin if kailangan nyo pong pumunta or linisan nyo sarili nyo po, okay? So maraming salamat po ulit sir sa cooperation nyo po dito sa assessment na po to, sir. Then after the examination, document all the findings that was found during the examination or the assessment. Then lastly, don't forget to wash your hands.